Sven in Swiss Cottage. Hello, Sven. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. Oh, thank you, Sven. Thank you. I was um, over here just a moment from Oslo, and I have stayed on because it's such an exciting place here. Well, I'm glad. I'm still not finding Jutta. You've not found your wife yet? No, no, she's, uh, she's gone, gone, gone. But uh, I know it's a very serious subject tonight. Oh, yes. But in, in Norway, we have no uh, uh, hooliganism because I think because of our so many fish programs on. Yes. Every, every day we have programs on fish on, on TV and on mm. radio. Phone ins, everything. Yeah. And at the football, too, uh, before the match, uh, people come on, expert fishermen, uh, showing how to catch chub mm -hmm. and roach and everything like that. So it's more of a family occasion because it, you, you it can throw a fish down into people. it. It yeah. calms people down. Mm. But uh, it might be a bit boring for you, though. I mean, if we introduced it here... Oh, it's very boring. This, uh, this is what I'm saying. The more yeah. boring. So you're really boring the hooligans to death. This is it. If, if a hooligan goes to football, knows that he is going to see uh, slides of fish on a big screen, slides yeah. of chub, roach, mm. tench, and so on. That's, so there's more than one net at a, at, at a football match in... Uh... Yes, sometimes, because they have tanks. They have tanks as well. Tanks of fish. Yeah. Not 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 tanks, mm. uh, armored tanks. Tanks of fish. I see. And for one hour before the match, uh, the experts come on and display how to uh, net the fish. And it's much the same every week. But wouldn't people get a little bit excited about that, though? You know, well, I mean, I can imagine. Well, struggle and the crowd get. Uh, yeah a little bit on the side of the fish or... That's right. I mean, and it could become be a little like bit restive. Bullfighting all over again, you know. Well, it's, yes, but the fish, when caught, is always thrown back. Yeah, but, I mean, who wants to be thrown back after having a great hook in your mouth? No, it's never hooking. No? No, no, all fish in Norway are caught in net. With a net? With net or with a or very, very soft hook. Well, we're still planning our um, LBC Fish Watch is that, service. Is that going ahead? Well, um, we've been discussing it, and there have been a couple of trial runs. We're looking for a sponsor, though. We'd, we'd really like to have LBC Fish Watch in association with a company. So um, if there's anyone listening at the moment who thinks... Well, that, would it be live description, or would you have to pre-record because of controversial things might happen, like... Some, some fishermen might well, lose a fish and say, oh, drat, or something like that. You'd yeah. have to cut that out. We would, yes. We, we'd have to um, have a, a special button, but um, we're, that would be all right. We'd probably do it live, although I'm a bit fearful of crowd trouble. It is. the emotions can... can but uh, in Norway, you have no, no, no hooligans at all at football. No? Uh, we, we have no one at football mm. because of the, the, the fishing that goes on before and at halftime. Right. Uh, this probably, uh, it would explain your Eurovision Song Contest entries as well. Nil fish. Yeah, exactly. I mean... Nil poisson. <laughs> but I know it's serious, but uh, if, if... Where's your wife, Sven? Jutta, well, she, Dusseldorf. She went off for a big match, the showdown. Yeah? And... Uh, was she the one with that rubber hammer in her hand? That one, yes, she yeah. was. She was captured by the um, police. I saw her on TV, oh, dear. and she was beating up the police like no man. Yeah, she's not right for you, though, really, is she? No, I rather like the policeman. He's a nice looking, yeah? looking young man with a firm hand, but he you, was no. You don't want to get her. involved with uh, with with the Düsseldorfians, though. But uh, the Düsseldorfers, I mean, what can one do when a woman like Jutta comes over and she was screaming like mad for Holland? Yeah? Uh, yeah, so Holland, Holland, Holland. She has a very harsh voice, and uh, I think I'm better off with some some little bit of English fluff. Where does one go to find them? Well, I, I should start, you know, Swiss Cottage. I'd, I'd have a little wander around there. Have you not met anyone so far? Well, I met some uh, some woman from, uh, from uh, where was it, from, uh, oh, uh, Maidenhale. 
Oh, Maida Vale. Maida Vale. Yes. Um, she was working in the dry cleaners. Oh, yeah. And she said... Um, Do you think you, you're, you're going to be all right with her then? I thought I might take some flowers and some clothes round to her. Yes. And like the flowers for romance and the clothes just to... To wash. Get something out of it. Yeah. And yeah, so that even if the romance doesn't work, you, you've, you've washed your smalls. I've got my clothes done. Yes. She's caught. May I say hello to her? Yes. Hello, oh dear, it's a difficult name. Uh, Ginaka. Pardon? Ginaka. Ginaka? Ginaka. Oh. She's from Belgium. Oh. And has drifted into the dry cleaning business. As you would. And she's a nice girl, firm looking body and... But I yes, don't know, yes. well, I'm, you know, coming from Norway, I don't know what to talk about apart from fish. Well, I, I hope that it goes all all right. I mean, it it sounds like Rodway in the flower shop all over again. I mean, have, have you wooed her? No, I just said, I'm from Norway and I have um, uh, some money on me. Ah, and uh, did her eyes light up when you mentioned the money? No, she um, just gave me that old... Uh, look of uh, I mm. suppose it's blank mm. blank amazement blank amazement and got on a bus yes 419 I think it was oh yeah well it but was. I thought well if I go down the shop with some old clothes and some uh, some flowers mm. uh, we might uh, we might strike something up I, th I think you should I, I'd forget you to personally well I I cannot forget she like she's a, on the TV screen in Dusseldorf. She sounds like a bad type to me. How did you get involved with her in the first place? I mean, well, it honestly. was. She is powerful. She's a, she's a, she's powerful, dominant. A powerful dominant. family. Yeah. Uh, they yes. control. Were well, you marrying money? Were you? She put, no. Her family controlled the whole Pilchard business in Oslo. Oh no. And uh, she picked me out at some disco. Yeah. And uh, said, "Hello, I'm in Pilchards." Well, my father is a big in Pilchards, and then well, you yeah. know it was. Um, Kiss, kiss. Yeah. And then, you know... Next thing you know... There it was. Are there any little pilchards? No, no, we've not got into that side of no. it at all. No. Maybe you and Ginnika would be Ginnika. better. Ginnika? Yeah. She's a nice girl. Yeah? Big hips. Is she in fish? No, I don't think I no? not. No? I can't no. stand that Well, don't anymore. bore her with too much of the fish, will you? No, I think I talk about... T talk about other interests. Up-to-date music, talk about Chubby Checker, talk about, you know, um, the... Joy D and the Starlighters and sort of hip sounds. Yes. That, that would be good, yeah. You're obviously a, a trendy old chap. No carping on about the fish, though. Right. Okay. Okay, Clive. I wish you well. Auf Wiedersehen. Ginnaka? Ginnaka, isn't it? Ginnaka. 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 If you're listening, Ginnaka, Sven, uh, do you want to send a little um, nighttime message? Just sleep tight, Ginnaka, but not too tight, get my meaning. It's eighteen minutes to four, and we'll move on. <laughs> Thank you, Sven, in Swiss Cottage. I, I do hope it all works out all right with the, uh, the Belgian woman from the dry cleaners, and I'm sorry about Jutta as well. Uh, John's in Staines. Hello, John. 